my journey into the video game business was a very, very long, interesting path. It really started in a completely different part of the music industry, mainly doing records and working with artists and doing producing and songwriting and arranging and programming and everything. I actually started back in the early 90s on tour with Bobby Brown. And, um, after a few years of that, I decided my true love was in the studio. So I began to try to find work and find new artists and develop them. So jumping ahead to uh, right around 2001, the Xbox, the original, had been out for about a year or two, and um, I was playing games like Halo and Rainbow Six. I've always been a gamer for, for many years. And, um, but one day a light bulb went off. It was a kind of an epiphany for me. And I was started to pay attention to the music I was listening to. And thinking, wow, you know, this is stuff I would really love, love to create. I was contacted last summer by Ubisoft, uh, by the Hawks team. And the, uh, they explained to me that uh, Hawks was really very connected to the Graw series. In fact, the first mission in Hawks was the last mission in Graw 2, which I scored. The, the, the Hawks team really felt that the uh, fusion of the electronic sound into the orchestral would really give them the texture they were going for. Uh, I'm very comfortable combining those two things together. And uh, so it was just a question of finding the balance that they liked the best. The way I put the Hawks score together is that I did the entire thing first here in the studio, artificially. And that included all the orchestral sounds as well, not just the synths and electronics. So I had the complete score completely done. In fact, it sounded very good just, just the way it was. But, uh, but the... Hawk's team was, was, uh, was very open to the idea and realized the potential of getting a real orchestra to enhance that score. We did record with a live orchestra, except this time we recorded it in New York. That was really fun for me because New York is my hometown and I was able to work with some of the best musicians in the world there, some many members of the New York Philharmonic. And uh, it was really fantastic working with them. They were top, top notch. Video game music can be way more challenging than normal linear, linear music, whether it be music uh, to film or whether it just be music for a record for music's sake. Uh, with video games, you, there's a lot more left brain planning going on. So it's a bit more of a puzzle, a lot more challenging, but I kind of like that. I think the most rewarding part of the whole process for me is actually hearing it in context when I'm playing the game and seeing it. Because that's really why I got into this industry in the first place, because I like gaming. Just recently I was able to go to Comic-Con in New York at the Javits Center and play Hawks for the first time. And I was really looking forward to it because I've heard so much about how incredible the game looks. So I was kind of hesitant because I thought maybe I'd be let down a little bit because of all the hype. But uh, I wasn't. I was blown away by how good it looked. When I'm working on a project like Hawks, I'm very much uh, in sync and, and, and collaborating with the designers of the game. Um, I'm able to get feedback and, and discuss things with the audio director, with the producer, with the creative director. You know, these are the people that are creating it, that had the vision for the game, and that know it better than anyone else which is fantastic. So they really invited me in to be part of this team. Sometimes I'll receive notes back from the game developers and they'll tell me something like, you know, now we've been working on this game for a year or two and now that we have this music here, it's breathed new life into the project and it's fired the whole team up. And that's, that's the biggest compliment I could ever receive. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy Hawks. See ya.